welcome to Adobe Live. My name is Melody and I'm here with Jermaine Louise Boca. Hi. Hey. Thanks for coming back. This is your second time. Yeah, here, I'm so right? excited to be hey, back with yeah. you guys. I'm super excited. So this week is all about UI UX design. And let's take a quick look at our schedule um, and see who we have this week. So at nine, we had Kat Lowe, hosted by me. And then at 11, um, we had Ayana Campbell-Smith, hosted by Zach Nielsen. And then at one, we have Jermaine, hosted by me. So this will be <laughs> the same schedule today, tomorrow, and Thursday. So be sure to come back each day to see where the design progresses. And then we also have an XD daily creative challenge going on right now. And um, if you submit your submission for today during our stream, Jermaine and I can review it and give you feedback, which will be really cool and really helpful, especially if you're a beginner. Um, it's a great way to get feedback live. And you can also um, submit it on the XD Slack channel, which will be um, on behance.net slash live under the challenge tab. And you can also get more feedback from other people and also go see what other people have submitted and get inspiration. So definitely do that. And then tomorrow we'll do the same with the next day's challenge. And then on Thursday, we'll have portfolio reviews. So stay tuned for that. And then we also have a chat and win in about 30 minutes and you can win a Moo hardcover notebook. Oh, I love and Moo. Yeah, me too. My so first ever like. um, business cards were from Really? Yeah. yeah, they have the best business cards. So you can wow. have a chance to win That's this. Lux. Yeah. yeah, it's really nice. So all you have to do is just be active in the chat and you can have a chance to win. So um, Jermaine, do you want to introduce yourself and let us know yeah. what you're going to be working on? So I'm Jermaine. Um, I'm a graphic and UI designer at Aweber located in Philadelphia. Um, so I design their mobile apps. We are an email marketing company. We are in the process of um, launching a new update to one of our email content creation apps. So definitely check that out. It's um, some super exciting stuff. Um, I was here a couple months ago um, and I designed an email marketing app and I had so much fun. So I'm super excited that you guys invited yeah. me back. I know I watched your stream when you were here last time and I was so impressed by your <laughs> illustrations. Thank They're you. amazing. So if you haven't seen it, definitely go back and check those out. Thanks. Oh, okay. um, should we just get started then? And yeah, maybe doing? you can give like an overview of what sure. you're going to work on. For yeah, the so f over the next three days, I'm going to be working on designing from the ground up a um, scavenger hunt app. I don't have a name for it yet, so I'm going to be asking you guys um, for sure for some help on what to name it. Um, so the schedule for the next um, few days is going to be for today, I'm going to sort of introduce to you what the goal is of the app, um, the user flow, like a happy path, um, and we're going to be wireframing and doing some low fidelity mockups in XD. And then tomorrow, I'm going to be editing some pictures and photos in Photoshop so I can then transfer them into high fidelity mockups in XD. And then finally, on day three, I'm going to be continuing with the high fidelity mockups and then prototyping and playing around with some animations that um, some new features that XD has. So it's going to be really fun. Exciting. Yeah. Um, just keep going? Yeah. Um, yeah. Cool. So um, I was actually um, inspired by one of my coworkers who did a scavenger hunt for her birthday. So I decided to make an app where all the photographic evidence is going to be housed from the, the hunt. Oh, cool. So yeah, so it's basically for uh, a place for people to create a scavenger hunt um, or game to share with their friends and a place for the players to document all of their photographic evidence um, so they can cross off each of the scavenger hunts tasks. Um, the goal is to take a traditional game and turn it into a mobile app that's competitive and gamified, but also super fun for all the players. Um, and then my target audience is really all ages, like mm -hmm. social, non-social people, yes. bar hoppers like <laughs> yeah. my coworker. Yeah, so it should be really fun. Yeah, that sounds like a really cool app. I definitely would yeah. want to try it. I haven't done a scavenger hunt in a really long time, but. Me neither, actually. Like <laughs> yeah. They would be fun to like do them as like an adult. Cause I remember yeah. when I was like younger, I would do them. And yeah, I like, had a lot of fun. I always thought of it as more of like, sort of like a camping thing, mm -hmm. you know? But like, yeah. it's totally fun to do around the city and stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah. So Nathan said happy path, I gotta yeah. steal that <laughs> phrase. Uh, yeah, I use that a lot when I'm sort of just like prototyping and trying to plan out a quick version of an app. So rather mm -hmm. than getting stuck in all of the different paths and flows that um, an app 
could have, I sort of just choose a beginning state and an end state and call it my happy path. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so the happy path that I have right here is I have a user flow. I'm going to zoom in. So I'm going to be comping out throughout over the next few days um, what happens after you launch the app. So it'll show you the splash screen, sort of like the loading screen, right before it takes you to um, the login page. And then once you're logged in, the home screen, um, and then there's going to be two different sort of features on the home mm -hmm. screen, a list of all of your active scavenger hunts, Ooh, and then okay. um, a timeline of like how your friends are doing throughout all the apps. You can, sign a, you can sort of see like who's leading and like who's been taking photos. Mm -hmm. nice. Yeah, so then I'm gonna be um, mocking up some versions where whether or not the user has any active scavenger hunts. Mm -hmm. um, and if they don't, they can either join a hunt or create a hunt. And then I the guess. pass through there. Hi. That looks fantastic. Look I just said you did a great job. I had to say hi. I didn't know you were here. Jimmy. I am to bother you. Good to see you. Good to see you too. See um, I don't even know where I was. Paul's so distracted. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> um, and then if they do have hunts already, basically showing um, how you can submit evidence to complete a task and so on. So yeah, I'm gonna be actually basing my designs off of this user flow. Each of the blue squares is going to be a screen that you'll see in the app. And I've sort of just um, sort of color coordinated things. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so I was going to ask, like, what does the green like outline mean? And yeah. yeah I so I just sort of chose a different shape to show like the start of mm -hmm. the whole process. But all the blue rectangles are specific screens that you'll see throughout the app. And um, any of the outlined green rectangles are sort of an action okay. that a user has yeah. to take. So if they're opening up part of the UI mm -hmm. or like creating something. And then um, I guess I'm using these circles as sort of events okay. that'll happen throughout yeah. the app. Nice. Um, yeah. Jordan is asking um, if you used XD to create your flowchart. I did not. So I found an app called Overflow. Actually have it up here. I've never heard of this app yeah, before. Yeah, it's pretty cool because you know how hard it is to sort of get a flow chart right if you're mm -hmm. like constantly moving parts. Yeah. So what's cool about it is that um, oops, if you move some stuff around, oh cool, it'll move all <laughs> like of the the, the with stuff it. with it. Yeah, and nice. then if you create something, you can easily just attach it to. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, so the app is called um, just Overflow. Overflow. Yeah. Nice, thank you. Okay, so that's the um, flow that I'll be following for the next few days. And then some of the sketches. I did some preliminary, preliminary <laughs> sketches um, just so that I'm not diving mm -hmm. right into the app. Yeah. So I wanted to give myself sort of an idea. Um, these sketches I actually did on my iPad. Uh, Melody yeah. asked earlier if they were pencil sketches, but I actually yeah. use um, the Photoshop, Photoshop Sketch app on my iPad um, and just like the pre-built brushes mm -hmm. definitely look It looks really like good. It's like um, a sketchbook, but it's like digital. It looks really yeah. nice. And then what's cool is that there's just um, a share feature on the iPad that you can push you're drawing right to your computer. So all you have to do is tap share to Photoshop mm -hmm. and it automatically launches Photoshop. And um, that's awesome. Yeah, saves it to mm -hmm. your files. Oh, thanks Val uh, for posting the link for Overflow. Oh, okay. thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah, so if you see me like looking off screen, I have these same <laughs> sketches nice. on my iPad to sort of draw yeah. ideas from. Yeah, so I pretty much just sketched up um, the home screen and some of the different flows, like creating a hunt, um, joining a scavenger hunt, mm -hmm. and then also what the different task card looks looks like. Nice. Yeah. So um, now that we've introduced what I'm going to do, I'm actually just going to dive right in and open up XD and start building out my boards. Nice. So I'm just going to use the pre-made um, artboard sizes here that XD has. Which is really exciting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's super nice. You don't have to memorize yeah. 
all of the different dimensions. <laughs> yeah, and I just duplicated a bunch of boards um, just to sort of get myself started. I'm gonna be doing low fidelity mock-ups or wireframes, so basically everything's just gonna be squares, um, everything in grayscale, so uh, tomorrow we can start adding some color in. Nice. Yeah. And then I'm gonna start, I work off of the grid that XD has built in, just so I can, so I know mm -hmm. that everything's yeah. in line. Do you keep the same, like, feature or properties that XD has, or do you kind of add your own, like, custom grid size or anything? I normally just keep the, I think it's 8 yeah. pixel. Yeah. Yeah. Um, an 8, eight pixel nice. grid, that's just what I worked off of. Mm -hmm. and, um, it's just easier. It's to just use. easier yeah. to have it default than, yeah. uh, I guess, oh, you can change it to make it whatever your custom yeah. on the default. So Which that's is cool. Nice. So if you like to use something else, you can always have that as yeah. well. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm just gonna get started um, making the background. I'm just gonna pick a super neutral gray. Mm -hmm. And then, so I don't have to keep picking that color, I'm just gonna add it to my colors here on the side. Yeah. I'm so excited to use the repeat grid later. I know, <laughs> I love repeat thing. grid. I think it's what makes XD stand out as an app for me and something that I always want to go back to right. is all like the really easy features mm -hmm. that just make your life a lot easier. And like they recently did the flip horizontal and flip vertical. That, thing. okay, I yeah. didn't realize that was a new thing until I just saw it there <laughs> really? um, the other day. And I was like, wow, I was taking them into like Photoshop or Illustrator oh my before. God. To try and um, flip, like flip some them, of this yeah. Stuff. yeah, it's super helpful to have, and it saves you a lot of time. So, yeah, I love that XD does that. And then they just um, released a new update today, where you can view the auto animate on the uh, like online. So if you show your prototype, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, like the link, um, you can view the animations. But before it was just like a transition yeah. or like dissolve, so it wouldn't really show the animations. But now it can, which is really cool. That's cool. I totally forgot I had a mouse right here. Oh. <laughs> like, yeah. Hi, Gabri using a mouse pad. So, hi, Gabriella. So she is just tuning in. We are starting a scavenger hunt app. Yes. So um, Jermaine is building the wireframes for that. And then over the next few days, we'll get further along into the creation of that. Yeah. Also, if you guys want to start brainstorming for some app names now. Yeah, let us know what I'm you guys totally would call a scavenger hunt app. If you have any names, please let us know. Yeah. Even like, I feel like the word hunt could be more fun. You know? Yeah. So, that's cool. So can people, um, like if they see an active hunt and they wanna join in, can they just like click on it and be like, I wanna join. Yeah, so I'm planning that when you go to join a hunt, you can mm -hmm. either search for it by the name or um, scan in a QR code. So basically, mm -hmm. once you create a hunt, um, it generates a code that you can share with your oh, friends or scan in. But awesome. also, like based on location, you can join a hunt, like based on nice. the city that you're in. That's really cool. It kind of yeah. reminds me of Pokemon Go, like getting yeah. people to get out of their houses and kind of <laughs> go explore their cities. So, yeah. So these are going to be the the cards, mm -hmm. the list of cards that will be your hunts. Cool. So as Val just mentioned, we do have an XD daily creative challenge going on. Um, even if you haven't done the previous days, I think we're on day six, you can definitely join in now and just work on um, today's challenge, which is to create a smartwatch app and add a voice command for mm -hmm. like a cash sending app. And um, there's a template provided if you go to the challenge tab so you don't have to start from scratch because that can be kind of intimidating, yeah. um, especially if you're a beginner. So there's um, a template that you can use and kind of change the colors if you want or add any features and then submit that under the challenge tab on behance.net slash live and then we can review it. So. Number of players. Let's see. Okay, let's 
when you're doing like the wireframes, do you already have the font picked out that you want to use or do you do that later on in the... I the sort of, I have a few sort of generic um, sans serif fonts that mm -hmm. I choose from. So there's Lado, there's Open Sans, Roboto, or mm -hmm. Montserrat, but... Um, Montserrat? I love Montserrat. Yeah. <laughs> <Don't> <laughs> that's one of my favorite Montserrat. ones. But yeah. um, I, I sort of just, <laughs> yeah, sort of just choose between those and mm -hmm. then Sometimes I stick with them. Sometimes I'll go in and like look for them, but mm -hmm. um, I'm very, a very indecisive person. So it's nice <laughs> to just have um, go-to fonts yeah. that work for a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but my issue with Lado is that it doesn't have. I don't have all of oh, the. Oh uh, no! All the, like different. Yeah. So you know sets. we're gonna change yeah. the font <laughs> to. <laughs> let's do Open Sans. Oh, you know what? I can actually just change this. Oh yeah. And then it'll, and then it'll change, change it globally. everything. Yeah. That's so nice. I love that feature. Yeah. Okay. I'll bring this size down. Val says every time she hears that font, she thinks monster rats. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> it does sound like that. It's sort of spelled like that too. Yeah. Yeah. Hi Destiny, welcome back. I remember you from my last stream. Yay. I like can't not spell when people are watching. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I always forget that, and then I'm, I, know. I have half of my work mm -hmm. um, in from the assets mm -hmm. panel, and half of it I just randomly That's chose. Funny. And it messes me up in yeah. there. <laughs> okay, we're gonna duplicate that. Vahid says he sees your Creative Mornings Philadelphia sticker on your laptop. Yay! Yes, <laughs> I love so. that sticker. Hi, Julieta. Hi, Nathan. Uh, so Nathan's asking if there's spell check in XD, and yes, I, there yeah, is. Yeah, there is. I noticed yeah. it the other day. It's a recent update. So if yeah. you haven't updated your XD app, definitely go do that because it's a lifesaver. Yes. <laughs> and yeah, sometimes I'll finish designing something and then I'll go and upload it on Behance and then I might see like a spell error. I'm like, oh my yeah. god, no, and then I'll have to go back. But yeah, it's really helpful. Come down. Hi, Carol. So we are designing an app for a scavenger hunt in Adobe XD, and we are just beginning with the wireframe. So, yeah. welcome. Welcome. <laughs> so this is gonna be the search bar where they can add. I'm gonna lock this in the background. Mm -hmm. um, add a hunt that they want to join. And then I'm going to make this button B. The button for to launch, or sorry, to create a new app or a new hunt. Are there pre-made plus signs in? Um, I think in they're in the wireframe. Are they UI kits, I mean? Oh, okay. Just, I always end yeah. up just redrawing <laughs> yeah. the plus signs. Hi, Hola. Daniel. Hi, Michael. And hi, Juan. Juan Dan and Mike are my coworkers. Oh, really? Hi, guys. Yay. Hi, guys. 
And Juan is a beginner and he's gonna try XD for sure. Yay! Yay. It's super easy yeah. to, to learn. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. And I learned a lot about XD from watching these live streams, yeah. so they're definitely really helpful. So I'm glad you're here watching us. Latest activity. All right, I think I'm gonna make this like a timeline based. Yeah. So like the previous hunts that have like ended or that are still like ongoing? I think ongoing. Okay. So I think I wanna do sort of like a news feed mm -hmm. where it's like so-and-so has uploaded a photo to this hunt or something. Just so you can like oh, I keep track of yeah. competition. Okay. <laughs> cool. Yeah. So I was at the link to XD that she yeah. uh, just posted. Yeah, so Val just posted the link to XD. It's free to download. So if you're a beginner and you don't know if you want to purchase Adobe Creative Cloud, you can definitely try it out for free and then yeah, go from here. And hi, Samuel and Loy. Thanks for joining us. And El Vahid says he's a chapter host of Creative Mornings. That's oh, cool. cool. I haven't been to any Creative Mornings meetups, but yeah. I've been wanting to go. I hear they're awesome. <laughs> Okie dokie. I think I'm gonna repeat grid this one too. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> We're using a lot of the shapes I've already made. <laughs> submitted any uh, app names Not yet. yet. If you um, are just joining us, we are looking for names for the scavenger hunt app that Jermaine is designing. Mm -hmm. So if you have any ideas, any cool like short words that have to do with <laughs> scavenger or hunt or scavenger hunt anything, um, please let us know in the chat. <laughs> So Lance is suggesting find it, and then Lindsay is suggesting hunter, hunter with no E. I like that. Hunter. <laughs> also like find it. It's very to the point. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm just gonna make a bunch of these. And Ooh. then I'm gonna go in and sort of separate them out. Mm -hmm. Are these all, okay. Daniel is suggesting seeker. And Ooh, then these are Johnny is suggesting finder with an OE. Yeah. <laughs> and then Lindsay is asking, when you say scavenger hunt, are you talking about geocaching? So sort of. Um, have you ever done geocaching I've before? heard of it, but I've never done it. Yeah, <laughs> I, I've done it a couple of years ago. Basically, mm -hmm. it's like people leave little clues and stuff mm -hmm. um, around the city. Um, so similar to geocaching. Yeah. Johnny oh, tried to sign, he says finder <laughs> yeah. also. Hi, cat. <laughs> cat says raccoon. <laughs> That's kind of fun. And that would be a cool, lo uh, cool logo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think um, someone from the chats last time also uh, sent me assets to put into the really? app. Really? Yeah, it was That's so much awesome. fun. <laughs> nice. I'm gonna keep track of these names. The names, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm into raccoon and hunter and finder. Okay. 
Okay, I'm going to just connect all these dots now. Where are you tracking the names? Yeah, I'm, just, I'm trying to go back in the chat, sorry. Oh. <laughs> just so I can make sure I have all of the suggestions. Yeah. Okay. I am all cut up. I feel like there's like definitely a trend with app names just dropping all the vowels. Yeah, the... I agree. <laughs> am I going crazy? No. Okay. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> this looks centered, but it's not. <laughs> I like how you grouped it up and then have the, like the line on the side. Yeah. Show that. that looks really clean. Thanks. Organized. I need to bring these down. Oops. I always forget when I'm on the cursor mode mm -hmm. or from the zoom mode. And yeah. <laughs> it really trips me up sometimes. Mm -hmm. Bye, Anthony. Thank you for joining us. See you later. Okay, cool. There's my home screen is done. Yay. Um, oh, I think this needs some sort of navigation bar yeah. too. Actually, just gonna use. So I have the um, iPhone X UI elements mm, pulled oh, up. Yeah. I just grab these from um, XD's menu like. up here. Yeah, so you can just pick whatever UI kit. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna drop in just the snap bar. I think this is grouped, and that's why I can't grab the whole. Oh. Okay. So I'm just going to. Hide that so I can grab this. Hi, Thomas. He said he just discovered the live stream and he's from Germany. Hello. Hello. From Germany. Hey. And um, yeah, he's asking if we always start with, or if you always start with wireframes. Um, personally, yes, I always do just so it gives me an idea of um, placement mm. for a lot of the elements. Um, I always get s caught up in aesthetics and colors mm -hmm. and the looks of things. Yeah. So this allows me to really focus on um, the actual UI UX of things and not necessarily too much on aesthetic right mm -hmm. away. Yeah. Oh, it's chat in one time. Oh. Yay. So um, everyone in the chat, all you have to do is just be active, say hi, and you can have a chance to win this a move. Notebook. Hardcover notebook, yay. Um, yeah, so. What is this part? I think it's like a divider. Or, I don't oh, that's know, really cool. But it's really cool and it, and it lays flat, which is nice. So, yeah, um, we'll be right back. who's gonna win this notebook. Good luck to everyone in the chat. It's a very high quality notebook. I know. It's, it's like... Oh, and it's got, it's got little circles where you can put page numbers in. Oh, that's cool. I just noticed yeah. that. Yay. I don't know if anyone can see that <laughs> But yay, okay. Does it lay flat? flat. No, it? it lays flat. Yeah, on it does. Most, it's flat yeah, it's flat technology, so it lays flat, which is really nice. Yeah. Yay. Hope oh, everyone's typing really fast. <laughs> That's really, really fast. Oh, um, just so you guys know, please don't spam the chat. Um, just by entering once, you're already entered, so you don't have to keep typing too much. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thanks, Don. He said he likes my stickers. Yay! <laughs> nice. I'm running out of space. I need, to, oh. I need to make space. I think you fit like a lot on there. Yeah, I think <laughs> I can fit a few more small ones mm. in the, the cracks. Yeah. So. <laughs> nice. Yeah. 
Why don't you? I don't know. I think I think someone has to choose for us. So we're waiting for the winner to be announced. Um, so, um, can you buy this notebook elsewhere? I think because... so. I think on mood.com. Okay. Yeah, if you look. Oh, okay. Lowell, Lowell Lunar. Lunar. Yay. Yay! Congrats! Congrats. Awesome. Congratulations. You'll be receiving one of these notebooks. Yay! Thanks everyone for participating in the chat. We appreciate it. Cool. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna go in and just sort of drop this in there. And I don't need all of these ones. So right now this is, um, what is it? It's a symbol. So I'm just gonna mm -hmm. actually ungroup this because um, I don't need all of yeah. those pieces. So my idea for this is the center button will be mm -hmm. sort of a plus sign where you can just easily access your camera. Oh, cool. So that, um, yeah, you can quickly snap a picture, upload it. Is that like the main function of the app, do you think, is to have people just upload and share? Yeah. So That's I think... Cool. Um, yeah, I'm only gonna have it launch the camera, and mm -hmm. then after you snap your picture, you can choose which hunt to drop it into. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. All right, I think this needs a header of some sort. Mm -hmm. Cameron Design is saying they can't wait to see the Photoshop integration. Yeah. And me too, I'm excited. So you're gonna work on that tomorrow, yep. right? Yeah. I'm so, gonna be editing some photos tomorrow um, to drop into um, the mock-up. Nice. Yeah. So be sure to come back tomorrow, Cameron, to see the Photoshop integration. Hi, Tanmoy. Hi, Guillermo. Guillermo. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Welcome. Yeah, So I'm gonna work now on what the scavenger hunt card looks like when it's um, tapped. Okay. When you expand it. So we have some new um, app name ideas from Shruti. She says esk app aid, <laughs> and then Victoria GPS this. <laughs> nice. Thank you for the suggestions. If you have any other suggestions, if anyone hasn't given us a name for the scavenger hunt app, please free to send us your ideas and we will choose one at some point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm keeping track of them, so to add this in. I gotta turn my grid on. Oh, that's not what I wanted. So there's also a layout grid if you didn't yeah. know <laughs> in XD. But um, I yeah. prefer to use this square, square. grid, yeah. Guillermo is from Brazil. Oh, cool. I've cool. always wanted to go to Brazil. Me too. <laughs> All right. I think I'm going to have to be making some icons too. I need a player icon and a time icon. Oh, you just placeholder icons for now. My thing is I'm always getting confused the shortcuts mm -hmm. on XD because <laughs> um, for circles because mm -hmm. um, I started out in Illustrator uh -huh. before anything yeah. and I think it's, it's L different. in Illustrator yeah. for ellipse but oh, for I, I guess I'm the hurts. L in ellipse yeah. <laughs> but in XD it's actually E for ellipse. Yeah. I don't, I don't have all the shortcuts memorized, like the keyboard shortcuts, mm -hmm. so I'll, I'll always just go to like file or <laughs> just click on them if I'm too like lazy. To, yeah. To, I need to memorize all of them, but I haven't yet, but I need to. <laughs> you know, they make keyboard covers 
four shortcuts. Ooh. I think I've seen like a sticker or something. Yeah, they have that. stickers, yeah. but they also have the, the sort of the, cover. the jelly ones that you, Ooh, yeah, you can I just lay get on. That. <laughs> yeah. Days from um, Karen is asking if font size unit is font size unit pixels in XD. Um, let's check. I'm not sure. I think. I think Feel it like, is. Yeah, I think so. Pixels and points. Do yeah. they normally translate I think it's to pixels. the same? Um, Kat and I were talking about this in our stream this morning because she was transferring images from Photoshop to XD, and in Photoshop they were like a lot larger than yeah. XD, so she had to like divide them by three to bring them over to XD. And I think on Photoshop they they were points. Okay. I think. I don't remember. Um, I wonder if the, the difference, but yeah, the difference is I just the learned two. that there was. Because so. I know you can change the units mm -hmm. in Photoshop and Illustrator. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure it's I wonder pixel. if there's. Oh. Is there no ability to change? Okay. I can't hit preferences on mine for some reason. <laughs> oh, I can't what? either. What? Um, I don't know. Is that just Helvetica that you're using? Yeah. In yours? It's just like it's such a great fallback. Yeah. It always looks good. <laughs> I feel like this is pixels though. Yeah, I think it is because you have size 11 and then the grid is like 8. Right? Yeah. So it kind of. I feel like it's pixels. Yeah. Ariana is suggesting plunder without the E for an app name. Mm. Thank you. For your submission. I'm gonna add that to my list. Yes. <laughs> There's gonna be so many names I and I'm not gonna be able to yeah. choose one. So Lawrence is saying text is pixel size. Thank you, Lawrence. Oh, cool. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Um, Thomas is asking, does XD also provide the possibility use of glyphicons? with an overview um, for just inserting a clock symbol. I don't know what glyphicon is. that means. like pre-made icons? I yeah. guess, you know, I already have the the iOS um, UI kit open. Mm. I bet you they have glyphs. Oh, they probably do. Let me look. Or I have another. Let me actually see. I think I have. App icons. These are app icons. Oh, glyph. Here we go. Oh. Well, there's a bunch of them. Which one do we pick? Oh. Ooh. I'm going to leave this open. Yeah. This is going to be useful. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> All right, actually, there's a few different ones. Is there a clock? Oh, there is. Wow. Oh, cool. <laughs> Perfect. Yay. Now, I don't actually know if these... I've never used a glyph. Mm. So. Uh, I, just I didn't even know they were things. We're going to ungroup them. <laughs> Why can't I grab this? I think oh, this yeah. is just an image, actually. Okay. Yeah, for reference only. Oh, okay. Darn it. <laughs> You're so oh, close. No. <laughs> Can I not? Yeah, I think that's just. It's, it's an, yeah, yeah, unless there's another UI elements. Yeah, I don't think it came with glyphs, unfortunately. Oh no. Yeah, unless I'm missing it in here. There's a few that are already baked in mm -hmm. to some of the UI components, but unfortunately, it didn't come with a list of glyphs. Yeah. I'm just gonna close okay. out of this. <laughs> Sorry, Thomas. Not too oh, sure. Oh no, don't worry about one. it. Yeah, I was also very curious. Yeah. <laughs> don't worry about yeah, nothing. Yeah, I was curious too. So then here, 
I'm gonna be able to, I want to be able to swipe or tab between mm. um, the two. So this tab is going to be my list of tasks, both completed and uncompleted. I'm just gonna make this, let's make it five. And then on the other tab, it's gonna be sort of the leaderboard. Okay. Yeah, and see, cool. see who's winning. of all of my different sizes here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 16, 22, 14. Um, so let's say for this mock-up, we're gonna have two, the same circle just bring it down actually I'm gonna make it a card instead oh, oh where'd it go <laughs> <laughs> Just a reminder, we have about 45 minutes left to get your XD daily creative challenge submissions in so that Jermaine and I can review them at the end of our stream. So if you want feedback on those live, be sure to submit them um, on the challenge tab on behance.net slash live. It'd be really nice, Vahid said, it would be really nice if you can make the nudge work the same size as the grid. I think, Ooh, yeah. I think I've actually seen that. Val said um, to suggest it in the user voice, but I, yeah. I think I voted, upvoted that. Really comment. nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If there's any features that you want to ha be like on XD that aren't on there yet, definitely go to the link that Val just posted and um, give us your feedback. And I know they take it like really seriously and they value the feedback a lot. Mm -hmm. And so definitely if you want something on there, let the team know and they'll get working. Yeah, that nudge feature um, would be really awesome. Yeah. Right now, I'm sort of just, because I think nudge is one point, right? Mm -hmm. And then, or one pixel, and then you if you hold shift it's nudge, it's 10. Yeah. I always like nudge 10 and then go back <laughs> to oh. to make <laughs> sure funny. I get it within the eight. Yeah. But I feel like I've done it so many times now, mm -hmm. it's sort of just second nature. Mm -hmm. Repeating <laughs> grits again. Yay. Is there a way to update this on the sidebar rather than just eyeballing the um, change? What do you mean on the sidebar? Like, it, the only way to change the increments is mm -hmm. by pulling up and down? Yeah. Okay. I think so, yeah. Unless. There is some way, but that's usually how I do it. I just, yeah. well, I don't do that. Yeah. It works for now. <laughs> um, cool. This one's going to be crossed off. I'm curious if there's a check mark in here. So Helmet is asking why XC doesn't have rulers, if anyone knows. I don't know. 
Why? I'm sorry. Midwife. Do you know why? No, and I actually didn't even realize that yeah. there weren't rulers yeah. until you said that. Yeah. Maybe in a future update sometime, they might add that in. Who I'm knows? curious. Well, I've never really needed rulers, mm -hmm. I guess, because I work off of the grid. Mm -hmm. But also, when you're moving stuff, it automatically gives you measurements yeah. um, based on like how the close proximity. the proximity yeah. of other elements. Yeah. yeah, I usually go by that. Mm -hmm. Val's asking what my favorite go-to tools are in XD. Um, definitely the repeat grid. Um, and then I'm constantly um, using the side panel, mm -hmm. more so for when I'm doing the high fidelity apps, mm -hmm. like when I'm creating mock-ups for work, um, I have our brand's colors mm -hmm. for the UI set already in my oh, asset nice. panel. So it's just a lot easier to go back and forth yeah. and clicking here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's one of my favorite things. Also, um, I've been a fan of using CC libraries more. Mm. Um, we'll be using those more tomorrow, Yay. but um, it's been really great for um, the latest project I did. I've done mm -hmm. a lot of illustrations um, in Illustrator, mm -hmm. so I can just sort of edit them however I want to. If any of the colors yeah. need to change, mm -hmm. they'll automatically sync up yeah, to the mock-ups. Awesome. Yeah. I lost track of what I was doing. <laughs> Is there a strike through? So that's gonna be something I need to draw in myself. Just the line. Mm -hmm. cool. So then this is, once a task is completed, it'll just get crossed off automatically once you upload nice. the photo. to what happens after you tap a task card. So it's gonna launch your photo, your camera app. I wonder if that's in here. Just be missing it. Mm -hmm. um. Oops. Let's see. Oh, it's the whole thing. No. Well, since they're low fidelity for now, I'm just gonna can we do the, the a circle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. This will be, oh, I always forget to turn the grid back on. <laughs> Your button to record. And then I also wanna give them the ability to just upload a photo that they've taken. That's nice. I like that you add that option because maybe they took it like at a time when they didn't want to open the app or they didn't have yeah. the time to open the app. And maybe it was faster to like just take the picture and then mm -hmm. upload it to the app later. So that's cool. And very user friendly. Yeah, I've definitely mm -hmm. done that where, especially like if I'm uploading content to social media or something, mm -hmm. just Take yeah. it now, upload later. Yeah, that's what I do. Like, yeah. if, if I'm taking pictures of food or something, mm -hmm. and I'll just, like, take it really fast on my camera, and then I'll, like, upload it later. That's mainly what's on my camera roll, is that's just funny. pictures of my food. Nice. So I'm just 
gonna make this a way to close out the camera. Val says she also does that with Instagram all the time. Oh, uh, yeah. saving <laughs> like pictures saving, for later. Yeah. <laughs> cool. And then, what's next? Sorry, I'm looking over oh, at my no, sketches. It's okay. <laughs> oh, okay. So now we're moving on to the players tab. So what I'm going to do is actually just duplicate this. So yeah, I'm going to keep. So that was. The command for that was Command D. I know that one. That was also yeah. one of my favorite things mm -hmm. on the XD. Yeah, duplicate art. Okay. Or, I'm just gonna move the marker over. And then for this, I think I'm just going to reuse some of oh, nice. the assets yeah. that I've already made. Yeah. Because why do more work than you need I to? Know, you know exactly. Paul is in the building. Paul is back. <laughs> <He's> dancing. <laughs> <laughs> so this is gonna be the leaderboard. Let's see what size do I wanna make this? I'm gonna add this. Oh, is this not? Hmm. Oh, there we go. I wanted it to be 14 point. Oh wait, it is point, not pixel. Oh. Wait, what? Wait, so back to the question yeah. on whether or not <laughs> font sizes in XD are points or pixels. Oh my god. It's apparently point, point. based off yeah. of the um the character styles on the side here. Oh my god. Oh. Good call. <laughs> it was in my we face the whole time. <laughs> I wouldn't have oh, noticed man. that until I would like read it and then see the point. Yeah. Yeah. This is gonna be the point system. I haven't figured out if I wanna do point based or just the number of tasks. Mm. I'm just gonna do number of tasks mm -hmm. for now. behind their name. I want to do some data viz up in here. Ooh, and nice. uh, <laughs> we will make their the back of their name a um, a graph. Cool. Where did he just come from? I don't know. <laughs> Paul <laughs> back. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I didn't know there was another door over there. <laughs> and then now we are going to repeat red again. Yay. <laughs> Should probably title this. I'm gonna <laughs> go back and then copy this, paste it in here. And what I love about that is that it pastes it where it was in the yeah, other in on the same the exact board. spot. Yeah, it's really nice. <laughs> many people playing. And then these empty circles right here, eventually they'll have mm -hmm. um, profile pictures oh, okay. in them. Nice. Yeah. Cool. Oh, Sam's in the chat. Hi, Sam. Hi, Yay. Sam. <laughs> okay, I think I'm just gonna Bring these down. There we go. Is this... That'll look really cool, like the graph in the background. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to add color to it. I think the last time I was on the chat, I was super indecisive <laughs> about what colors uh -huh. to make. Yeah. 
That's always the hardest part for me is deciding the colors, yeah. the fonts, like the theming. Yeah, yeah and exactly. Stuff. <laughs> and then, so this timeline out here, I think, so this is going to be latest activity across all mm -hmm. of the hunts that you're a part of. Mm -hmm. But then you'll also be able to see what's going on in each individual hunt. So Sam's asking what we are working on and we are doing a scavenger hunt app. Mm -hmm. A scavenger yeah. hunt app, basically where you as a both player and creator can create a game, like a hunt for your friends, or as a player, it's a place for you to join a hunt um, and then upload your evidence yeah. to your photographic yeah. evidence. <laughs> yeah, so it's a great way to get outdoors and be active with your friends. And yeah, it seems like a really cool app. <laughs> Thanks. Oh yeah, if you have any app name ideas, please let us know. Thanks, Val, for reminding us. I have a list oh, yeah. going. Um, maybe at the end of the stream we can decide on one. So yeah, let us know if you have any ideas for a scavenger mm -hmm. hunt app. My coworker, Dan, is in the chats right now, and he says, I hear color surveys teach you surprising things. So a couple okay. months ago, um, I launched this color survey mm -hmm. at my office, oh. um, basically trying to decide what color to mm -hmm. move forward with yeah. for our reskin of our app. Mm -hmm. um, and it's really surprising to see. So I asked users um, what color, how color made them feel. Mm -hmm. um, and I asked both customers and non-customers and I also posted some photos on Instagram and mm -hmm. used the, the polling in the stories oh, nice. to figure <laughs> it out. And it's, it's really uh, funny, some of the stuff I got back. I was testing a few different colors. Um, nice. It's always cool but to yeah. see like what other people think about colors. And yeah, and like you are definitely not your user, mm -hmm. and you might think one thing, but unless until you ask people yeah. what they actually think, you you're sort of just playing a guessing game. Yeah. So Sam is suggesting Amazing Racers for an app name. That's a good name. I love that. Hey, thank you, Sam. I'm gonna add that to our list of names. I think I'm gonna have this. I Spy Oops. and Wild Goose Chasers. I Spy, do I you like remember them. those books? Yeah, I used to love those yes. books. <laughs> <laughs> I would spend like hours <laughs> just like looking at them. Claudius Love is asking, how long are we streaming for? I think we've got another hour to go, right? Yeah, so we're here until three Pacific time. So one more hour and then we'll be back tomorrow and Thursday from one to three p.m. Pacific as well. And then if you missed any part of the earlier part of the stream, you can always watch the replay on Behance yep. or YouTube. I'm going to name these apps. Or these apps, these aren't <laughs> words. <laughs> card. Victoria is suggesting look sharp. Look sharp. Man, these are all such good I suggestions. I know, they're really good. I never would have come up with this on my yeah. own. Yeah, <laughs> same. So we have about 28 minutes left to get your submissions in for today's XD Daily Creative Challenge. So if you're working on those, you have about 27-ish minutes left and you can submit them on the challenge tab on Behance. So Jermaine and I can review them and give you feedback. So make sure to get those in. I'm gonna bring these up. This is sort of just like prep work for tomorrow mm -hmm. when I go to, or the third day, yeah. day three. <laughs> when I go to, um, what's it called? Prototype Tiping. some things out. Yeah. Nice. It's getting some of the screens ready. Cool. 
Oh, Sam also suggested Finders Keepers. <laughs> That's oh, a cute I name. love that. <laughs> yeah. Yay. Those are some good names. We need to have a vote on which which uh, name to pick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Oh, I'm wondering if I think I'm gonna add these remaining and then how many points you have as a player. Maybe I'll just do out of 10. So 20. Whoa. Oh, See, yeah. there's autocorrect yeah. in action. <laughs> so the user can get a quick overview of how many points they have mm -hmm. just on that screen. Yeah. So I guess I can turn these into 90, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Also, I'm not sure if these proportions are right, so we're mm -hmm. just eyeballed them. That's okay. Yeah. <laughs> they look right to me. As long as they're descending. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> XD oh, dark version. Again. It's, it's <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> At least we know it's working. Yeah. <laughs> sketches. <clears throat> so I think now that the cards have been wireframed out, I'm going to next work on what happens when you go to search for a hunt to join mm -hmm. and then when you go to add um, or create a new hunt. I'm probably just going to move these out. So Rez Benpour and Vladislav, sorry if I'm pronouncing those wrong, they both um, want an XD dark version. That would be, that would be really amazing. Cool. Yeah, I think I work, I use the dark version for all the other apps, like nice. uh, Photoshop and Illustrator. Yeah. That's cool. I haven't used them. <laughs> I just have the default ones. Yeah. So I'm just so used to it, but I, I definitely need just, to try. It's easier on the eyes, mm -hmm. I think. Hopefully XD will come out with one yeah. sometime. Let's see. Oh, I forgot to delete some of this. <laughs> Search for a hunt. Okay, so then here, this is where I'm going to add that nearby feature. Oh, okay. To add the ability to, if you don't have a hunt in particular that mm -hmm. you're looking for. You can join something that's within like however many miles yeah. around you. Genevieve has a suggestion for an app named Search Party. I like that one. Yes. Thanks, I Genevieve. That. I'm gonna add that to the list. Nearby hunts. Oh, and then the also the ability to scan a QR code. Oh. Yeah. So what would the QR code like? What would happen when they scan the QR code? Um, sort of similar to. I guess it's very quick. You know, mm -hmm. when you scan a barcode or yeah. a QR code and just your native app, mm -hmm. um, it'll automatically pull up the card for the hunt. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Actually. So Thomas is suggesting Scavenger as a name. So Scavenger plus Adventure. I That's like a that good name. too. Thanks. Yeah, I like that one. Do you have a favorite so far? Um, there's so many good ones. Let's see. 
Kind of like I Spy. <laughs> yeah. And... Hmm. I kind of like Hunter with no E. <laughs> what about you? Do you have any favorites? I also am a fan of I Spy. And Finders Keepers. I like I Finders think. Keepers too. But um, that last one, scavenger, scavenger, yeah. or scavenger, scavenger. I don't know. I, I would say scavenger, but I guess you could say it either way. Okay, so we've got nearby hunts. I need someone to make this app a reality so I, know. I can play. What if it was like as huge as Pokemon Go and then <laughs> everyone was like obsessed with it? Oh, that I would wish. be pretty cool. <laughs> that would be so fun. Yeah. I would be one of those people. <laughs> Did you ever play Pokemon Go? Yeah, I played it like when it first came out mm -hmm. and then it kind of just like died down and then I didn't really play it as much. What about you? I... So when it came out, I had a really, really old phone. Oh. And so I couldn't load it fast enough, so it was very oh, glitchy. No. Yeah, <laughs> so I haven't tried it since mm -hmm. I had gotten a bunch a of new, new phones phone. be yeah. in between those times. But yeah. yeah it was pretty fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I didn't really like go out to like explore and to find Pokemon, but if I was going somewhere, I would just check to see if there was any if there's Pokemon. anything there. Yeah. yeah. But I know a lot of my friends would just go to like a park or something and places. I forgot what it's called. But when whenever wherever like the Pokemon were and then yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'll download it. Yeah, you should try now it. Now that again. I'm in a new <laughs> yeah. city. Yeah. <laughs> Might give me some uh, places to adventure to. Mm -hmm. Twenty minutes until the challenge deadline. Ooh, Twenty minutes. Make sure to get your challenges in. Today's challenge is to create a voice command for a smartwatch app, and there's a template that's provided for you um, for Adobe XD that you can use. So, if you guys have been working on it. Be sure to submit it before the deadline so we can review it. Do you own a smartwatch? No, I don't. You have one. I have Yay. a Fitbit. Oh, um, that's a Fitbit? It's a Fitbit. What? It looks like an Apple Watch. Oh my it? god, it does. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, it I doesn't have voice seen. commands, though. Oh, it does. I wish. That would be cool. <sighs> that would be really cool. I've been wanting to get a smartwatch, but I haven't gotten one. And I don't yeah. really wear watches normally, so... I don't know. I'm not in a hurry to get one, I yeah. guess, but... It would be really nice and... Handy. It's definitely distracting when my wrist is, is constantly buzzing for oh. notifications. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have a, a regular Fitbit. It's mm -hmm. like a, a really older version. The screen is like this big. Very small. <laughs> yeah, but it's pretty cool. I like using it to count steps for like walking. Yeah. <laughs> I think the uh, like the competitiveness of it is fun. Mm -hmm. Where you can like compete with friends yeah. to get all of your steps in. <laughs> That's fun. I've definitely gone out of my way to get steps in, so mm -hmm. it definitely, it definitely funny. works yeah. to get you moving. <laughs> so let's say there's, let's say there's two mm -hmm. nearby. Thomas, mm -hmm. are you asking us to um, talk about what scavenger hunt means or I'm sorry I'm not really sure what the question is like maybe the difference between scavenger hunt and geocaching okay I haven't maybe. geocached mm -hmm. in a long time but I'm thinking scavenger hunt is more of like an in the moment mm -hmm. thing like yeah. you can do it for an event for example yeah. like I said I was inspired by my coworkers um, scavenger hunt bar crawl mm -hmm. um, whereas I think I guess it's sort of geocaching yeah, too, because then you can do a nearby similar. thing, and yeah. you can have strangers join your hunt. Yeah, so it's, it's so a combination it's kind of both. Of similar. Yeah. yeah. I 
should see if there's any geocaching like locations in San Francisco. Yeah, how do you find out about that? So there is a website and an app, I think. Oh. Yeah. I kind of want to try it. <laughs> yeah. I've never done it before, but it seems very fun and kind of scary, but <laughs> exciting. It definitely <laughs> is. When I tried it, it was definitely a little bit sketchy at first. <laughs> um, Were you by yourself or do you No, have, like, but it, it just, mm -hmm. When you're looking for something, people mm -hmm. get curious about what you're doing. Oh, you know? yeah. So, you're kind of just like walking around looking yeah. under benches and I things. would be scared if like someone's waiting for me <laughs> like, oh. to find the geocache thing. <laughs> but Yeah, so actually <laughs> I think geocaches, like a lot of them are very old mm -hmm. and they never really expire. It's just there okay. that you can, for you to find. So there's oh. some of them that are a couple years old. Oh, that's cool. I'm excited to see the daily challenge, though. Yeah, me too. I love looking at um, what other people have submitted for each daily challenge because mm -hmm. people can interpret the prompt, the prompt in like, different, different ways. ways. Yeah. yeah, so it's really cool um, and also pretty fun. And I like how they um, have recently included the templates for you to download because before you would kind of have to start from scratch mm -hmm. and I wouldn't really know where to start. And I'd be like, oh, I don't know. And then, but now that there is a template, you can kind of work from there. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Now there's Harry Potter talk in the oh, chat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love Harry Potter. Me too. <laughs> yeah, Thomas is talking about when he geocached, we call the other people muggles. <laughs> yes. I think that would fit for people who don't know what geocaching is or don't know what you're looking for. They can be muggles. <laughs> I'm gonna copy this. I always forget to rename. Me too. <laughs> I usually try to like name them from the beginning, but then I'll get so caught up in just in like designing. making the yeah. screens. And then yeah. I'll ma have made like 10 screens and I'm like, oh. I don't know what any of these are. Let me go name them really fast. <laughs> it's really helpful when you get to the prototyping phase and then you can like link back to the artboards mm -hmm. and you don't have to like zoom out to go to them. You can anything. just read the, the, names. the names. Yeah. So I'm gonna keep the same icon down here for uploading your own photo or uploading a QR code. So this screen here is that when you click scan QR mm -hmm. code, it'll open up. Um. Yeah, the, the little sort of like camera scanner. screen okay. scanner. So someone could have taken a picture of the QR code like with their camera before and is that what that button is kind of representing? Mm-hmm. Okay. Because when, after you create a hunt, mm -hmm. it'll generate a bar code or a QR, a QR, QR code, code for you that you can <laughs> okay. share with your friends. Oh. So this is another way to find. I wonder if spell check also works in naming your artboards. Yeah. I wonder that too. Let's try, try it. <laughs> yeah, it does. Oh, nice. That's cool. I didn't know that. I also like when you zoom out, mm -hmm. the um, the name of the mm -hmm. artboard gets bigger. Yeah, I like that too. Okay, dokie, what's next? I'm gonna comp out creating a hunt. So that's when you tap the plus button, it'll mm -hmm. pull up a screen where you can start creating a new hunt. Mm -hmm. When you design, do you call them mock-ups or comps? 
mock-ups. Mock-ups. Yeah. What about you? I go back and forth. I don't, I don't know <laughs> if you notice. I never know which I one to noticed. use. <laughs> I haven't heard comps, but I think I, I heard know. you and Kat maybe call them yeah. comps. I think that's the first Actually, time. <laughs> honestly, I'm going to say I don't know what it stands for. Like what comps? Composition? Composition, I guess. I don't know. Does it? Does I think anyone call your designs comps or, or mock-ups? Mock -ups? Like, Let which us one know. Do you guys call it. And also, what does comps stand for? Yeah. <laughs> if you know. <laughs> Um, so Ender is asking if this is a new app, I think that's what he's asking. So this is a fictional app, yes, correct? Yes, this is yeah. a fictional <laughs> app, unless any of you guys are developers yeah, and you want to, make want to this create app. it. Yeah. <laughs> but it's an app about um, scavenger hunt with your friends. Mm -hmm. So I think I actually got the word comps from, so I went to school for graphic design. Oh, okay. And a lot of our projects were print based. Okay. Or like for packaging, mm -hmm. we would have to literally comp a physical product. Oh. And I, my professors always called it a comp. Nice. Yeah. So Helmut says he uses comps for after effect compositions. Mockups oh. is for Kendra uses mockups. And Thomas, as an application developer, they say mockups. Cool. Good to know. Hey, Thomas, are you yeah. a developer? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you want to build this out? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> So what do we need for a new hunt? We need a title. So Kat says comps. It's the last stage for graphic design. It's the one right before production phase. Oh, nice. okay. Thanks, Kat. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. And then I also want to give them the ability to create sort of like a cover or upload a cover image. Oh, oh why didn't I? I meant to grab the whole thing. Oh. <laughs> Instead of constantly copy and pasting this, I should mm -hmm. just make a symbol. I'm gonna make yeah. a symbol. <laughs> Can I mass delete symbols? Because I don't need this. Um, I think you might have to right click. Oh, hmm. and delete them in a way. Oh, delete. For some reason, I can't delete That's those weird. ones. But I'm just. I'm, I'm not sure why. <laughs> <laughs> About eight minutes left to get your submissions in. Yay, I'm excited to see what you guys have submitted. So you can submit those on Behance under the challenge tab. Have you ever designed anything for a smartwatch? Um, I've done um, like a challenge, one of the daily challenges for a smartwatch um, app. So that oh. was the only time I ever did. It was like to check in for your flight. So I used oh. like a QR code yeah. for like the flight thing. So it was cool. It was fun like to, you scan yeah, the watch. Yeah, so you scan your watch to like get on your flight. So it was fun designing in like such a small space mm -hmm. that I wasn't used to it. So it really made me think of what is the most important content to include right. that the user needs to see on their watch for when they're boarding. Like, yeah. oh, I think man, I had- I wish I had that for my Yeah, Fitbit. that'd be cool. So I, one thing <laughs> I wanted to include whenever I go to airports is I want to know what food is in my terminal because I'm always hungry. Oh, yeah. So I wanted to add like, find like food court information for this terminal or mm -hmm. something. I don't, I don't know if I use those words, but I thought that would be something cool to have. Can, like click on it and be like oh I want to go here and then yeah so 
Have you ever done a smartwatch app? No, but um, <laughs> I think it would be really fun. I mean, I don't have like a super, super smartwatch. Mm -hmm. I have a Fitbit and it doesn't yeah. have too many um, different apps, mm -hmm. but it's definitely useful and I, I can see how challenging it would be to yeah. create something for such a small yeah. screen. But then you really have to be um, like fully thinking about hierarchy and stuff. Yeah, you know? exactly. Like you really have to mm -hmm. think a lot about <laughs> what you're putting on there and because you don't have as much space to really put all the information. Yeah. Kendra says she can't wait to see what it looks like on Thursday. Me, Me too. too. <laughs> I'm really excited. I think it's going to look really cool. I also love this feature. So rather than memorizing like how far apart the spacing is mm -hmm. that you've designed your stuff, yeah. it just tells you. Yeah, I like that too, because I never know. So I always just uh, drag it until the pink box comes yeah. up. <laughs> See if I can quickly make a location icon. I also learned this new thing today. My coworker what? showed me. My coworker Brad. Shout mm -hmm. out to Brad if you're watching. Hi, Brad. <laughs> um, to delete a point, you do command. Is it control delete? Maybe not command delete. Oh, there we go. Oh, cool. Yeah. Because normally, <laughs> I think if you just hit delete, it like does a weird shape. It, it like closes yeah. the shape. Yeah. That is really but yeah, cool. yeah, if you do command, <laughs> or sorry, control delete. Control delete. Wait. Oh. <laughs> sorry, option. Option. Option, delete. option okay. delete. Nice. That's a really good tip. Yeah. I, what am I doing? Oh. I wanted to do this. Why isn't it doing it? <laughs> what are you trying to do? I'm trying to delete just this segment. Uh, okay. Um, oh. Okay. Okay. And now we just burn. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so. I whenever I if I'm like designing that icon, I'll do a circle. And then like double click on the bottom and, and just like, pull, it yeah, down. pull it down. <laughs> That's what I would do in Illustrator. Oh, Does it work okay. in here? Yeah. Oh wait, let me try. You should try. I think I just <laughs> yeah. I just made it way harder on myself. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, and then <laughs> <laughs> But it's cool to see like Thanks for letting me know. It. You're welcome. But we learned something new about how to make a half circle or yeah. anything. Yeah, I should I like how this looks good. <laughs> So two different ways to make a location icon. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the more you know. Okay. So about three minutes left until the deadline for the challenge submission, so save your submissions, upload them really quick, and send them in so we can review them. Not the pink thing's not showing up. Oh. <laughs> it heard me talking about I it. I know. <laughs> Yeah, I can do it here though. Ooh. I don't know if you can target which point to delete because it constantly. Oh. It always I wonder that if you like select, like click on the point maybe. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. 
think you just need to be more specific mm -hmm. with it. How do I? For, for me, whenever I yeah. make this, I'll take a circle and then mask it with a square or rectangle and then um, mask with shape. And I then wonder. Have like a straight line, but I don't know oh. if there's another way. Oh. oh, there we go. Wait, no. Oh, I actually I added. Okay. If anyone knows how to get this, maybe you can. To be flat? The, is there an extra point there? Yeah. Maybe. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh yay. There we go. Nice. <laughs> So um, Daik Chan uh, is asking where do you submit the challenges? So it's on behance.net slash live and there's a challenge tab. If you click on it, um, it'll have the link for submissions. Thirty seconds. Now we're doing add task. Didn't I have a check mark earlier? Yes. Oh, yeah. Add this to my symbols. Okay, so. Add tasks. Oh, there, there it goes. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, maybe not. I feel like they're not spaced mm. correctly. Hmm. It's weird. Submissions. Yes. Over. So, one second. So it's time to review the challenges. Thanks to everyone who submitted. Uh, let me open it up. Here. Sorry, I'm gonna make my brightness a little bit higher. So, this one, if you want, you can look up there on my screen. Um, so this one is by Tommy Makella. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong, but thank you for submitting. It looks really cool so far. So, hi, what would you like to do? Send 25 euros to Pauline oh, cool. Creek. Nice, let's scroll. Oh, there's a video. Okay. Ooh. Uh, I wonder if there's audio. Oh, sound. Oh. Oh, this is fun. Ooh, oh, wow. that's so cute. Yay. That was really good. Let's look at the screens. There's a few of them. Confirm transfer by swiping. Transfer. I like I the really transferring like thing. Did you make that in XD? Yeah, did you animate that in XD? Yeah. Let That's us know. That's really cool. Should we watch it one more time? Yeah. This is so cool. Yeah. It's really cool how you put it into a watch also. Right. In it looks the, really nice. <laughs> and very really professional. Format. Yeah. I also like the colors that you chose. Yeah, it's super readable yeah. against um, the black background. Mm -hmm. And I love this part, mm -hmm. the swipe. I think yeah. that form yeah. of UI mm -hmm. is really nice because yeah. then you can accidentally tap something. Mm -hmm. But I think the sliding is yeah, way more like, intentional. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And you're like sending money so you don't want to do yeah. anything on accident. So yeah, awesome job. This looks yeah, really great good. great job really clean design and not a lot going on on mm -hmm. such a small screen so it's really good also you had a lot of fun with the i guess the little animation mm -hmm. works as your 
sort of loading state. Yeah. So rather than like a generic circular loader, mm -hmm. we it's have like something different. Way more delightful. Cute. Okay, yeah. just flying to the person. Yeah. Thank you, Tommy. If you are in the chat, let us know how you made the animation. Did you use Adobe XD or another app? Let us know. Thumbs up and a follow. Okay, so the next one we have is by Kwan Mazu. Thank you for submitting your app. So let's click through. So we have choose your card. Wait for Can payment. you click the card? Oh yeah, let's try. No. I don't think that you can. Super simple, easy. Something that I would maybe add is a way to go back from maybe this screen, have like oh, a back yeah. button or In something. In case you made a mistake on yeah. clicking if you the card. Maybe chose the wrong card and you're like, oh, I want to use my <laughs> other card on accident or something. Mm -hmm. And then you can go back and then maybe a way to go back to the home screen from this yeah. last screen. But good job. It's really simple to the point and really clear mm -hmm. for the user to understand how they want to pay. So good yeah, job. I also like the use of the check mark, the success mm -hmm. screen. Yeah. Um, just so you know that your payment actually mm -hmm. went through. You don't want to yeah. be sitting there. Like waiting. Yeah. Yeah, I'm always <laughs> like, especially if I buy something online, mm -hmm. I'm always nervous. Like, did it go through? Right. Do I, I don't know, like if I, I, I like to go to concerts, so I always like Me buy too. tickets online and then I get And you're really sort of just nervous. like waiting for it yeah, to finish loading. It, it's really scary. So they'll like say, okay, tickets are on sale now. And then I want to be really close. So I'll like <laughs> wait. And then there's like t a timer on the, like, when you're buying tickets. Yeah. I don't know if you noticed, like, it's like nine minutes to fill out the screen. It's nerve wracking. Yeah, it's really nerve wracking. And then I really hope that the payment went through and like everything works and like my mm. computer didn't die or I don't know. So seeing that confirmation screen is like really important. So it's, it's very assuring. Yeah, yeah, it is. So awesome job of adding that. So yeah, great job. Thank you for submitting for the challenge. So we only had two submissions today, oh. which is fine. If you are working on it, please submit it to the XD Slack channel yes. and you can also get feedback there. Um, it'll be really helpful. And then tomorrow, we're gonna do the next day's challenge, and then Howard is gonna do a video um, kind of showing you some ideas and working with the template for tomorrow's challenge. Fun. He's also been doing it every day. So if you want ideas on how to get started, definitely check out Howard's videos. Um, they're really helpful. I've mm -hmm. learned a lot of auto animate from him, so. Yeah, yeah. it's definitely fun. Yeah, it's really fun. So awesome job. Thank you for submitting. And then, I don't know if you, do you want to pick a name for the app? Maybe yeah, we, we can, can pick um, a name. switch back to my screen really fast. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, okay, so these are all of the names <laughs> that I have compiled. There's so, so many good yeah, ones. Yeah, there's a lot of good ones. Thank you to everyone who submitted a name. So we have Seeker, Hunter, Find It, Finder, Raccoon, <laughs> Escape, App, Aid, GPS This, Plunder, Amazing Racers, I Spy, Wild Goose Chasers, Look Sharp, Finders Keepers, Search Party, and Scavenger. <laughs> so a lot of mm. good names in there. <laughs> Is there any that pop out to you? Or yeah, So some like different criteria I'm like taking into account is like how would I make a logo, you know, for oh, each of these names. That's um, a good idea. Yeah, and also like how it would look um, typographically. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then if it's easy to pronounce, mm -hmm. like when you're yeah. looking for apps on the that's, app store yeah, and if you're talking about it to try to get um, other people to sign up or other something. people talking yeah. about it, you want to be able to easily pronounce yeah, it. Yeah, that's true. Um, hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I'm, <laughs> I was very drawn to Raccoon just because. Yeah. I like that. It's really I think fun. it's cute and like, yeah. Different and maybe someone like might not know like what raccoon is. Like, oh, what's mm -hmm. that? You're like, oh, it's a scavenger hunt app. 
Let me show you. Or let me send you my QR code. Yeah. And then so they can like sign up for something. I was something. drawn to Raccoon and Hunter. Ooh, okay. Oh, Val says. Oh, what's that? Um, she could do a straw poll, so I think people can vote on the on a name. Okay. Yeah. Should we so narrow should we... it down to three? Yeah. Let's okay. do three, and then Val, if you could make a straw poll, that would be awesome. Let's do Raccoon, mm -hmm. Hunter, and change the color. What should be the third one? Do you think? Um, raccoon. Hunter. I like finders, keepers, or I spy. Okay. Let's do raccoon, hunter, and I spy. Yay. And I spy. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. I didn't know we could do that. Yeah. So yay. Is I'm that excited. in the chats? That it um. So it's gonna up? be like a separate um link, I mm -hmm. think. And then the audience in the chat will get to oh, vote, fun. and then we'll see the results. So I'm excited. Okay, yeah, so I'm excited to see. Definitely see vote you on picked. your favorite between Hunter, Raccoon, and I Spy, and then we will have the results, so. Yay. That's yeah. fun. Thank you for providing these names, by the way. Yeah, thanks They were all um, really clever. Yeah. way to do this. So I think after they create a new hunt, it's gonna generate the QR code. When you um, made your QR code, I just like, did you generate, did you draw your own <laughs> QR code? No. Okay. Um, I found one um, on Icon. Okay. On, I went to flaticon.com, I think that's what it's called. Mm -hmm. But they have like a bunch of icons. And then I used, um, like the, they have like a free like template one, so I use that. But oh, I think I'll you can like that. Google QR codes or I don't know if anyone has any other ways to get QR codes. Let us know. Pretty sure <laughs> I've seen like generators. Oh, there might be a plugin next to you. Oh. I'm gonna look that okay. up. Because I feel like there probably is. Oh, there is. Okay, so there's a plugin called QR Code Maker. So I'm gonna okay. install it. And I'm see gonna have to install that. How it works tomorrow. <coughs> oh, so Tyler says I Spy could be a magnifying glass looking onto a map. I love Ooh, that. Me too. That's a good idea for an icon. Oh. So for the QR code maker plugin, you have to input QR code string. So, so you like need numbers. To have like a, I don't know. What if you? How many numbers do you need? What if you just put in just gonna do gibberish? Um, so it didn't work. <laughs> oh, Med is saying he uses this website to make QR codes. QRCodeGenerator.com. Oh, thank you. That would be helpful. So it didn't work when you tried to type in. I just typed in numbers. like random numbers and it didn't work because I don't know what a QR code. I'm is curious strange. if you need the exact number of Maybe. numbers required. You know how a barcode has like like, like eight or ten yeah. numbers in it. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, I'm just going to put in a placeholder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Okay, I googled the QR code and then I found the website um, that Meds suggested. Create your QR code for free, but you need a website URL for it. Oh. Hmm. Just use my portfolio for okay. now. It's just um, germaineboca.com. is what it looks like. Oh, and you can download it as an SVG. Oh, cool. That's cool. I don't know how I can send this to you. Maybe on tomorrow's stream? Yeah, something? I'll definitely, yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna yeah. do a placeholder code for now. Um, I'm just gonna pretend this is a QR code. Um, so Tyler is asking, are there any classes you would suggest to learn UI and UX for someone who has never used it? Um, I've personally never taken any, but I know Skillshare oh, yeah. has a lot of classes that you mm -hmm. can definitely check out. Yeah. Um, I know they have classes that range from beginners mm -hmm. to advanced. Yeah, I think there's, there's someone like Udemy or oh, yeah. like the yeah. other like online learning courses. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know about like in-person classes that you can take. There might be some like yeah. boot camps or something, but those can mm -hmm. be really expensive. But I think you can like learn the basics online for free. Like that's just my opinion. And I learned a lot from watching these streams <laughs> and they're free, which is awesome. You can learn so much um, just by like watching someone and each person has their own tips and like tricks and their own experience. So there's yeah. a lot you can pick up on, even if you just have it in the background, which is what I did like for some of them because they can be kind of long. Mm -hmm. So if you just have in the background, you can like pick up a few things like, oh, that's a good tip. I'm going to try that next time. Or you can design along and yeah. So I would recommend that. And Skillshare is probably like one of the best sources for like online right. learning. So. Oh, Helma is saying InDesign does it to have the QR code generation. Oh, Maybe really? You can try it, yeah. I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. Ricardo's saying we could also airdrop the, the Oh. Image. <laughs> I <laughs> forgot I that was a thing. I my airdrop off on my iPhone because someone tried to send me like a random picture. I was like, what is this? <laughs> oh my gosh. It was like, like anything bad. Yeah. Oh. I was on a bus and then I was like, this person wants to airdrop you. And I was like, what? Oh my goodness. So I turned it off. <laughs> but um, yeah, it was really random and it was kind of creepy, but actually. I think you can change the setting. Like you can choose to only accept airdrops from people. Oh yeah, yeah. You know. I think that's what I changed it to yeah. from like contacts. Because it used to be for um, everyone and I don't know why I had it on that. Oh. <laughs> I don't recommend it. Um. Yeah, I don't, I actually don't know if I have mine turned on right now. Either. <laughs> okay, cool. You have to create it. I actually think that's most of the screens I needed for the Happy Path, yeah. other than my login screen. Yes. So. so I think we have one more challenge oh. submission. So if we can switch to my screen, thank mm -hmm. you. Um, so this one is by Daik Chan, I think. Oh, sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong. Thank you for submitting. Uh, so we can take a look. Wow, there's 47 screens. Oh my God, that's a lot. Okay, <laughs> let's look through. <laughs> Scan fingerprint. Ooh. Oh, because she's got animations. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Oh, Ooh. wow. Um, hey. What would you like to pay? Oh. <laughs> How much will you pay? Um, $20. Oh, I wonder if it's like a slidey thing. Oh, yeah. You slide Is up it? to choose your... It looks like, I don't know. Mm -hmm. It looks like the bar goes up. Yeah. Maybe you have to slide your finger. 
Let me hit him. Maybe it's number, maybe the topmost number. And then hit confirm. Oh. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Are you sure you want to pay Julia $20? Yeah, this is a good screen yeah. so that you're not accidentally yeah, paying sending like your money to people. Amount. Yeah. <laughs> Cash cool. has been good. Yay. Yeah, I think oh, your flow this. works really well. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, should we? Let me try. Okay. Try saying, pay Julia $15. Okay, I'm going to try it and see. Pay Julia $15. Cool. What did you click to? I just held down my space bar. Oh. Um, for XC, you have to hold that down to, mm -hmm. um, to that's for so it to cool. know that you're talking to it. Yeah. That's really cool. Yay. That's awesome. Nice. Awesome job. Uh, one thing I will say is it's a little hard to read yeah. this type um, on that background. So maybe do a, a bigger contrast between the two. Um, but everything is like really good. Like yeah. the flow. The flow is really, yeah. really nice. I think the you asking them like yes or no mm -hmm. is a nice um yeah. and also this font i kind of looks like a three to me um it's for, kind of hard to tell if that's a five um just for my perspective um, yeah so i it, think yeah i think your um this font choice works mm -hmm. on some of the larger buttons yeah but at a smaller size it gets super hard to read especially mm -hmm. if you're looking at it on a oh, watch yeah, on a watch yeah it might be yeah. a little bit difficult I would um, stick to um, definitely sans serif fonts yeah. for such a smaller screen. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah. yeah. But otherwise, it's really neat. Yeah. Awesome job. And I like how you had this little introducing section mm -hmm. because someone like myself might not have known yeah. that you could have that voice feature. So awesome job. And yeah, you made a lot of screens, so that's really good. And. I like the little transitions. Yeah, I think let's click through and just make sure we saw everything. Oh. Oh, can Josh. you slide? I can't. <laughs> and I don't know why I'm not able to slide. <laughs> Maybe just click. Oh. Yeah, I think clicking. Yes. Ooh. Nice. This makes me want to get an Apple, Apple Watch. Watch. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Yay, awesome job. Thank you for submitting. Yay, awesome. So, can head back to your screen. Oh, yeah. Did we get um, oh, yeah, the poll name. results? Oh, I'm sorry, poll? yeah. Let me let me look at the results. I'm not going to vote because I don't want to sway. Ooh. Raccoon. Raccoon wins by 40%. Let me zoom in. Oh, wow, I won by one vote. Well, oh, wow. yeah. We're in a very close call on all of these. Yeah. All right, I guess we're going Yay. with Raccoon. Thank you to everyone who it. voted. Yeah, Raccoon, it's pretty kind of even, but yeah. Raccoon wins by one. Yay. Awesome. Thank you for voting and submitting. Yeah. I'm excited to um, get a logo up for this. Yeah. Do you have any ideas yet on what you want to do? I want to, yeah, maybe playing off the stripes of the Ooh. tail or yeah. um the eyes oh Maybe yeah something with the eyes. like a magnifying glass or something mm -hmm. i don't know <laughs> magnifying glass don't they that's have like cool. mask mask like eyes yeah yeah that's crazy actually speaking of raccoons i watched <laughs> um, incredibles 2 on the plane oh, on the way yeah. here and there's like a, a scene with the raccoon mm -hmm. maybe i'll go back and see oh yeah that'd check be out good that for, scene like, inspiration. to get some inspiration yeah. <laughs> nice oh I'm gonna mock up, I think the last screen I really need to do is mocking up, selecting an image. So we're almost out of time. Oh wow. Streaming. We have a couple more minutes left, so don't worry if you don't get too far <laughs> into it. But yeah, you got a lot done today, which is awesome. Yeah, I think actually, yeah. Do you want to do like a done. quick recap of yeah. the screens that you did? 
So other than this last screen, mm -hmm. which is basically like a mock-up of your yeah. camera roll. Mm -hmm. um, let me see if I can get this closed. I was able to mock up my home screen here mm -hmm. um, and then the flow of completing a task. So you tap on the scavenger hunt card that you want to open up. Mm -hmm. It'll open up into um, the tasks you have to complete and then also the leaderboard of all the players that are competing. Mm -hmm. um, and then pulling up the camera screen that, so you can document or upload a picture of evidence yeah. to complete the task. Um, and then also how to search for and join a hunt and also to create. So right here are the creation screens. So mm -hmm. basically you're adding all the details and all the different tasks that you want to have for the scavenger hunt. And then here you can sort of search for a hunt if you know mm -hmm. the name, um, scan the QR code um, to pull up the specific hunt you're looking for, or if you're sort of just browsing, you can check mm -hmm. out what's nearby or what your friends are, will be playing. Yay, yeah. yes, awesome job. Yay, thank you to everyone in the chat for joining us and thanks for all your suggestions for the app names yeah. and thanks for voting for them. Um, it was really fun to see all the different names that you guys came up with. Um, Jermaine, do you want to let everyone know where they can find you on social media or your portfolio website? Yeah, I'm actually yeah. going to pull up my slides again. And then we'll be back at the same time tomorrow, um, 1 p.m. Pacific time to 3. Yeah. So, so you can um, find me on Instagram at germ.design. Um, there's a lot of hand lettering work that you can see oh, on there. Cool. Yeah, but I if you want to see more of my <laughs> graphic design or UI work, you can find it on my website, which is Yay. just germaineboga.com. Everyone go follow her on Instagram. <laughs> Yay. Awesome. Thanks everyone for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow at the same time. Thanks, Yay. guys. Bye.